Welcome to Rich Skill Modelling. My next build is going to be this Airfix 172 RAF Red Arrows. Now, now I'm building nine of these kits, and the reason for that is because it's generally nine in the display. I, I won't be uh, building a full display with a diorama, that'll be later on down the line. But the kit itself is a quite a simple kit. Only two sprues, that's the whole nine there. I'm just about to prime them. That's why they're all laid out and they come with a simple set of instructions and a, a small decal sheet which you can see there. Now the decals are the simple and they're only for red 3 on this set. I didn't realise that at the time when I was putting the registry marks on so they're all red 3. But the kit went together very nicely and didn't really have any problems. so. We'll get on with the build now, and I hope you enjoy it. So I'm going to start off um, painting the cockpit area, the seats, instrument panel, uh, and so forth. Again, not a lot in this kit. Um, you can add detail if you wish, but there's not a lot of room if you put the pilot in, so there's no point. Um, this is um, aqua colour number 57 that I'm using, which is a normal grey. And I'm just going to be putting it on. I'm not taking much care here. Just throwing it on. And I'll tidy it up later on. Starting to build the cockpit. Um, it is very small, the detail in here. So just be careful when you're cutting it off the sprue. And making sure that um, you're, you're not going to... Uh, uh, damage of the piece as you take it off. A tip is to use a little bit of tape, like masking tape, over the area that you're going to cut to keep it stable. That way when you use your your cutting tool, whether you use a knife, cutters, whatever, it will um, help it um, not bend so much as you're cutting it. Then just trim it up with a hobby knife. So I'll carry on building the, the cockpit. Oh, I'll just say, um, as you're watching this video, you, you'll see different um, models getting made. Not necessarily the the same red arrow, because there is nine of them. You know, so um, you may see different variations or small small changes that go along. That is because I'm, I'm building all nine in one go. Um, and I have a little production line going. Applying the um, instrument panel decal, and um, again, these decals are going on the same way as um, any other decals dipped in warm water, lift set, and then apply some uh, solution to the part before uh, sliding the water decal into place. As you can see, I'm doing a few at once here. Now the cockpits are made up, I'm just going to be cementing them into position. So bonding the um, fuselage together. If you're having difficulty um, handling these um, small fuselages uh, when, when you're cementing them, um, I would take the piece, apply the cement halfway, then get the other piece in and do that halfway. Or you can do the capillary action is put them both together then bond down the seam and let the capillary action uh, glue the piece together. I like sanding over this the seam of the fuselage uh, just to get rid of any of the major bars that may be on there. Um, you just don't want to do it lightly at this stage. You don't want to take them all the way down and, until you've uh, put the other parts on. The reason for that is, if you marry up an hour part, you may have taken it down too far and ended up with a lip that then you have to deal with. Using a pin drive and just uh, making the holes for the display stand, these are the two little um, circular holes that fit into the pin joints that the display base I'm using. 
Um, it's a 0.5 millimeter drill bit I believe I'm using on this. Closing up the rest of the fuselage, the, this is the bottom part going in where I drill the holes. And moving on to the slots for the landing gear, because this one will be um, in flying mode, I won't be doing the wheels. The wings went together well. The um, seated in the uh, location pins nicely, N no need for trimming, and um, I just held it together with some um, clips. Before you fit the wings to the fuselage, make sure the air intakes at the sides and at the top of the wing are fitted properly. Um, make sure that they're married right up to the side because it will make it difficult to fit the wings and of course later on the canopy you may end up with a little gap. Um, the wings do fit in rather tightly as well so just make sure it all marries up well. Right it's on to the canopy now. Um, as you can see I'm free painting these um, without using masking tape and whatnot. I pref as I said on my other videos I prefer doing it this way. If you do do it this way and manage to go over the lines then it's a simple case of using a cocktail stick and uh, gently rubbing it over to to get rid of the, the paint. Make sure it's thoroughly dried before you do this of course but I, I just prefer it doing it this way. It doesn't matter what scale I'm doing it in and it doesn't matter if I go over the edges I can, I can clean it up. Turning my attention now to the um, pilot and engineer the um, Red Arrows um, always have their very own engineer who travels in the back seat with them um, not on the displays but when they're going from A to B so the, the pilot is main colour is on the red red 31 aqua colour and the engineer is blue number 56 and um, again it's, you don't have to go into great detail you, well, you can if you want to um, but they are small so it's just uh, literally painting the red over first and then cutting in some white for the helmet black for the visor and I used um, aqua colour 80 and ochre colour for the um, harness and whatnot. Onto the rear wings again, there's a simple case of cement and slotting them in. You may notice the killer dog there. Um, I have to be really careful with him around. He, he tends to um, go to the bench and sneak something off to chew on. I've lost many a plastic kit because of him, you know, but he always likes standing next to me when I'm building. On to painting the um, main model now. I'm, again, I'm using the red um, Aquacolor 34 and um, it's just apply we using a flat brush in nice even strokes. Uh, it takes one to two coats depending on how much you put on, but try and put on as thin layers as possible. So now it's all dry, I'm just um, now tidying up inside the cockpit and the areas that are visible. Here I'm applying a, a coat of uh, matte varnish and just to dull down the um, the pilots because you don't want them all glossy looking. And once they were all dry I had to actually snip off the legs of the pilots and engineers for them to fit properly uh, into the um, uh, cockpit. Now they do go in okay with the legs and that on but they're just slightly raised. The helmet's just slightly raised uh, above the seat so for it to look more realistic uh, I just cut them down a little bit so the head um, went onto the support 
and also it made it easier for the um, canopy to go on. So I'm just securing them with a bit of super glue here. So I'm painting now the uh, the sensor rod that goes in front of the aircraft. That's just painted in Aquacolor Aluminium 99. Uh, those are the last pieces that will actually go onto the kit. But uh, I'm just painting them now to get ready. Onto the canopy, I'm using um, Formula 560, which is the canopy glue. Uh, just um, applying it. It doesn't matter if you apply it liberally it will um, dry clear and acts as a good bond. Um, a little tip, before you put your canopy on anything just give it a quick wipe down with a cloth make sure uh, any dust or particles are removed. I've done it so many times where I put it on and realised there was something inside it. So the canopy is on I'm just applying the, the front light and the, the sensor rod at the front now. So after I coat it clear and it's all dry, it's time to put on the main decals. Uh, as I said at the start of the video, this is um, all, they're all marked up for red 3. Um, so if you're doing 9 like I did, um, you, you either have to print off your own decals for registration marks, or uh, buy a different sheet online, or just do what I did and, and use what was there. Um, it's your own personal choice. For me, it doesn't really matter, I suppose, at the end of the day, if they're all red three. But I didn't put the the bottom decal on. It says red three or underneath the fuselage, um, just because I thought that would look weird. But the side registrations are all the same. Well, that brings us to the end of the build. Um, as I said, it was a short build. And once all the decals are dried, I shall put um, another coat of clear on it to seal in all the decals. At the end of the video, there's the um, slideshow of the finished kit. Um, I put them on the Air, Airfix display stands. Um, it's the one that holds five um, 172 scale planes or two 148 scale planes. The, this is just a, a temporary thing until I decide if I want to build a diorama for, this, for these kits. So for now thank you all very much for watching. Feel free to check out my other videos. Um, I hope you enjoyed this one and I'll see you on my next build. Bye bye.